what are your thoughts on the major labels these days? Is it, um, do you need them or what was the benefit of having a major label deal? I mean, there's, you know, there are certainly a lot of people who've had tremendous success on their own. And I've worked, I, you know, I still work with a bunch of those artists who were totally independent and they, you know, they've done, you know, we've, they have a, uh, they think a song that's in top 10 at all radio this week. That's right. a total independent band, but for, for blowing a band up to a worldwide phenomena, getting those, those big worldwide tours and, uh, you know, that's sometimes the help of having a major label, right. a big manager, a big booking agency, just be able to, you know, to pull all those things together in a short period of time. Right. Um, I mean, Imagine Dragons went from, you know, playing for a hundred people at the Viper Room mm -hmm. and God, I forget how many months it was later, but it was less than a year, I think, to wow. play the, the show at in Las Vegas for 20,000 people. Right, right. You know, And that's possible with a major label, so to speak. They have the resources. Right, it, right. I mean, they have those resources and the connections to, and plus with a great with a great booking agency, um, great management. You know, it's... it's uh, hmm. You know, it's a big team that you really have to manage all the parts, um, and and then the stars just have to be aligned as well, or whatever. You know, I mean, you could have all those things and still fail miserably. But mm. uh, you know, if all those things can come together, and you know, the magic, the you know, the magic is happens to be there, things can blow up really quickly with the, with those with those additional resources. Right, that makes sense. But, you know, like label deals, are they, it's always been my understanding, maybe maybe I'm wrong, uh, but it's always been my understanding that they're a really bad bank loan. <laughs> but may, maybe I'm wrong, or what's your view on that? Except if, you know, if you default on your mortgage, you don't have to pay it back. Right, you know, right. You know, if the, if, the, if the deal goes sideways, right, it's not like you still owe the label. Ah, okay. You know, so... The label's taking a big risk, which is why they, you know, you know, if you went to a bank and had a loan and if five years if the house wasn't working out, mm -hmm. you could just walk away and not owe them any money, oh. you would expect to pay a higher interest rate. Um, so, but there, you know, there are just resources. It's harder to get a really big booking agency involved without, without label support. Right. You know, but, I mean, Some agencies will take on independent big will take on independent artists hmm. after they've you know you've really put the time in you put four or five or six years in building building a fan base across the U.S. and touring on your own and and really built that up to a, oh this is you know I've you know as a big booking agency yeah we want to be involved in this because these guys are are killing it you know hmm. um, it's harder to get or almost impossible to get a big booking agency like that involved if you're just playing clubs in a local area. Right, right. I mean, that's not going to happen. I mean, well, they're, they're not, they're not going to risk the time. But if you've already, you know, if you've worked as an independent band and really worked on setting up your own touring across, uh, you know, if not the whole U.S., but at least major inroads into, you know, certain core areas and you have a big fan base, But you know, it's I mean, it's a decision each band really has to make hmm. on their own, which direction they want to go. Um, and certain styles styles of music, I think, are more conducive to just being able to record a song, and put it online. Certainly in the EDM world. Right. Uh, so you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's you know, if you want to be a major pop star and have a top a number one radio hit, you're. It's really hard to get those top ten slots without label support. Right, makes sense. Uh, it can be uh, done, you know. I mean, it can be done, but it's not easy. Right. Yeah, and I didn't know that about if you actually that if if your music doesn't make it, that you don't owe the money. Still, I thought I was actually they still owe them, but 
I guess not then. <laughs> we just good. No. That they, I mean, they they all own those masters. The label on the right, masters. Right, right. Particular songs. Um, I know a lot of bands that have been dropped that cut deals to get their masters back. Right. You know. Um, so you know, I mean, but but that that's the risk for the label, which is why you know why they don't just sign everybody. Sure. You know. They're, they're investing a lot of money that they might they might not get a return on. Right, make makes sense actually. 